psychic power through physiological registration of language and sensory details. Built in humans originally as a survival tactic for adapting to various dangers in early times. For instance the ability to process and recognize the light waves and the information encoded in them of danger, or sound waves. Essentially ancient people relying on their senses kept them alive. Being able to distinguish certain colors kept you alive. This ability which was keenly developed in our brains has been used against us by corporations selling products that may be unhealthy for us. Or the drumming of support for a war like what happened in the media of the United States before the dawn of the Iraq War. Ultimately even at that time the topic didn't inherently interest Americans. Yet the use of slogans and symbols and logos was the driving force behind the public's ultimate accepting of those wars. The logos and symbols used in advertising is meant to stimulate these primordial emotions in you. Propaganda of all sorts for different purposes exists using these stimuli to ultimately impose a vision into your subconscious. As for how this alters the psychological reality of a human is key. This effect of total domination of the sensual space in effect makes the person believe in the sincerity and reality of its existence. Governments use this to try to hide uncomfortable realities away from their citizens. The internet for example is a codamp in village. The justification for that is that Google has a monopoly on the internet. Browsing search network 80% of all internet traffic is through Google. They have ties with the United States government yet impose using their algorithm selective process a forced psychological change in the person. By not being honest that they won't show you the billion results they claim exist. They won't be telling you why they are showing you what they are showing you. Comma, in what order they choose to show you, you cannot inherently trust them to be neutral or not influenced by outside means. Especially when advertising is such a huge part of Google. This is a horrifying reality of psychological terrorism and loss of privacy taking place. Google using Chrome also tracks you on many different sites. They sell data to advertisers and steal personal information. Their crimes against humanity of using the internet as a global propaganda monopoly is being destroyed. The internet now mainly exists of social media and apps made for small phones. These devices track your every moment and they are also recording and making profiles on people they need to suppress in order to keep their propagandized view of reality alive. Only five major sites are visited and most of them track you and keep profiles on you. Be careful friends be smart.